The Clarence Museum's newest exhibit showcases one of our homegrown heroes and greatest treasures. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin O'Connell. Proud to say I'm from Clarence. And welcome to our special tribute to Mr. Wilson Great Batch. Now in a moment, we're gonna take you back to where it all began. The story of a West Side kid turned World War II Navy man who brought his desire and his wonderful appetite for making things better for humanity right here. He also brought his Cornell education and quest for knowledge to a simple barn that would transform into not only a workshop, but also a place where important and significant contributions to science and society were created. And we're also going to show you that regardless of the environment, a determined mind can be the greatest source for not only invention, but also progress. They say that a beating heart is a measure of life a symbol of endurance, continuity. Well, here at the Clarence Museum, that life beats eternal because this is where we pay tribute to one of our own. He's someone who considers himself an ordinary man, though we know he is anything but. Born in Buffalo back in 1919, Wilson Great Batch would come to be known as the inventor of the implantable pacemaker, called one of the 10 greatest engineering contributions to society in the past 50 years. It was determination and commitment that ensured Wilson Great Batch would find success. Many people make strong commitments about things they want to do. And, and many make plans to do things they want to do. But where I do things differently, I do them. <laughs> A walk up these stairs takes us on the start of our journey. These are part of the very stairs that Wilson Great Badge climbed each day to get to his workshop in the family barn. With just a couple of thousand dollars to his name, Wilson left his job and committed himself to the sense of discovery. And I've always said that I, I don't care if I go broke on this thing. Uh, I, I think I'm there to, to do things for people. The barn workshop would mark the beginning of his own journey that would offer hope to millions of heart patients worldwide. Wilson Greatbatch said that he was always looking to make things better for people. And usually, he acknowledged, that meant doing some things differently. He said, all of life is experimentation. And here is where he experimented. The wooden beams you see are all original to the barn on Bodine Road, where Wilson Great Batch began his work back in the late 1950s. Imagine all that originated in this very simple setting. Perhaps very few realized then the possibilities developing right here. In fact, Wilson Great Batch said that most doctors early on doubted him. The good news is those negative responses did not deter him. The response always was, uh, these people die in a year or two, there's nothing you can do about it. Why don't you forget that and come work on my project? Imagine the young inventor, warmed only by the pot-bellied stove, spending hours, maybe days, even months experimenting, pondering, turning his ideas into innovations. This is an exact replica of where the family farm became a place of discovery. On the workbench where he spent much of his time, you can see the equipment that he used for testing. Now, Wilson Great Batch was a man known for documenting, keeping very good records of all the things that he did. Nearby, there's a doctor's bag. Wilson Great Batch was an engineer by trade, but he was often called into operating rooms to assist surgeons who were implanting pacemakers. They were the very first of what would be more than two million implanted worldwide. Here you can see some of the earliest implantable pacemakers. Now think about this important contribution. What you're witnessing is the largest collection of its kind anywhere in the world. And you know what? It was that small little lithium battery that was perhaps the most significant aspect of Mr. Great Batch's invention because it was that battery that allowed the pacemaker to last longer. In fact, the name Wilson Great Batch worldwide is synonymous with achievements. 
He's known the world over for his many inventions, some of which are on display right here. He worked to create a bone growth stimulator and also developed a way to grow trees faster. Wilson figured there'd be more wood available for the heating of homes, just as the wood heated those pot-bellied stoves that kept them warm in the family barn. Mr. Great Batch created a process that turned sewage into a useful soil additive. And he was years ahead when it came to solar. He worked to develop a motorboat that was powered by solar energy to use on the Finger Lakes. His invention allowed Wilson Great Batch to establish a new record for solar-powered boat voyages. When it came to recognition, Wilson Great Batch had plenty. He was recognized far and wide for his accomplishments by such notables as former President Gerald Ford and former First Lady Barbara Bush. Wilson Great Batch was named to the National Inventors Hall of Fame back in 1986. He was awarded the National Medal of Technology in a 1990 White House ceremony by then President George Bush and was accorded the honor of being recognized as Man of the Millennium by Living Primetime Magazine. Wilson Great Batch holds more than 300 patents, but he also maintains that success and failure are relatively unimportant when it comes to leading a happy life. He says that the reward is not in the results. The reward is in the doing. He simply wanted to help people and ultimately he found a way to give them a second chance with his scientific breakthroughs and definitely that can-do spirit. I was always looking for something I could, I could do that would uh, make things better. Wilson Great Batch, inventor and a native son who gives us so many reasons to be proud of our homegrown hero. He has improved the lives of countless people the world over. People who went on to live longer, more productive, stronger lives thanks to their beating heart. Wilson Great Batch's implantable pacemaker allowed for that endurance and continuity. And for that, we are forever grateful and very proud that we're able to tell you the story via the Clarence Historical Museum of one of the best, Mr. Wilson Great Batch. <laughs>